sexy, sexy drummer. Oh man. White stripes. Why the white stripes? Why are we talking about the white stripes? Why are we talking about Jack White and his his lovely sister? His lovely sister. Uh, today. Why are we talking about? Because Jack White has done the impressive, un, unquestionably, undeniably wonderful thing of endorsing the one Bernie Sanders for President of the United States. Very, very uncharacteristic of a rock star of Jack White's status. Uh, so imagine an umbrella for a second. Imagine an umbrella. Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Bernie or bust. We're going to talk about Bernie or bust, right? The, the phenomena of Bernie Sanders, who either will be the president of the United States or you, uh, we will be punished with another four years of Donald Trump. That is the phenomenon. That's still in effect from 2016. Now, remember, think of, think of an umbrella. Who is, who is, who could, whose umbrella, right? There's 90, there's, there's 100% of the people out there, right? And 99% of the people agree on a few things. One is that money in politics, the, the toxic effect of money in politics is the thing that keeps the corruption in place. Most people agree with that. But there's only a, a, a one guy, really, who is saying that you have to address that issue uh, and get money out of politics. Now, there's the other, other people that are headstrong. And those people, by the way, the big umbrella that I imagine that a big umbrella, big, huge, a huge umbrella. And uh, that's the umbrella of winning. That's the umbrella that can win the presidency. Right? Now, all those people that, um, all the people I just talked about, they all fit under the umbrella. The people that want to get money out of politics, they fit nice and snugly under that umbrella. Now, there's another cr crowd, crowd. <laughs> crazy crowd, right? The far left, that everything is identity politics. Black, black, I'm black, I'm white, I'm red, I'm green, right? All the people are, I'm gay, I'm straight, God damn it, I need my equal rights, right? All those people, right? All the kooks that think that that the color of their skin, or even like, you know, there's a, a couple of kooks that believe, you know, that the, that the government is run by pedophiles. You guys could fit under the umbrella too, right? We've got room for you, right? There's room for every, you know, this umbrella, it's like an, it's like a, a, an adjustable wrench. It fits every nut. Right? That's what it is. Right? So come under the umbrella. Come under the umbrella if you're identity politics, right? I'm not saying come under the umbrella. I'm saying that you fit snugly under the umbrella. This is not a biased uh, piece for Bernie Sanders. I'm just going to point out the fact that there is an impeachment process running right now, led 100% by Democratic Party, as a way to derail Trump and try to capture the presidency. That's the whole issue. It's not about what is what is right for the country or what isn't right for the country. They already voted. They already, in their minds, the Democrats will tr will impeach Trump in the House and then move it to the Senate and fail. Right? And, and Trump will not be removed from from uh, office. In fact, this week on Thursday, Nancy Nancy Pelosi uh, Pel Nancy Pelosi uh, reversed her uh, secretiveness, where they're going to now vote on Thursday to proceed in the House with impeachment uh, with an impeachment inquiry. Or okay, so they're going to take a vote right, Thursday. That's breaking news, by the way. But under this umbrella, all of those people, by the way, all the people that hate Trump. That's all you have is you fucking, I fucking hate Trump. God damn it, I can't stand this motherfucking goddamn Trump. I fucking hate him. The Trump derangement syndrome people. You guys fit under the umbrella too. There's space under the umbrella. There's no elbowing under our umbrella of Bernie or Bust. You could, we, we, could, we could handle that because you get what you want under our umbrella. If all you want to do is get rid of Trump, then you got it, right? But if, again, if you're going to stand there and, and get snow jobbed by the Democrats and say that Joe Biden is going to rid you of, of the evil orange fuck, then you're not going to win. You get, you get, you know, so you're, you're getting snow job there. So come under the umbrella. Those, those people fit under the umbrella too, right? So you've got all of the people that understand that 
that the number one issue in this country is and always will be in running for a presidential uh, position when the economy is not so good for most of the people. Right? Now you could say Trump, Trump will keep saying a hundred times the economy has never been so good, unemployment, blah, blah, blah. It's all fucking bullshit, right? Most people are struggling. 70, 80% of the country lives paycheck to paycheck if you have a job. 60% of the country doesn't have $500 to their name. Right? These, these are it's one in seven on food stamps, right? People are struggling. People, people got wiped out in 2008, self-included. You know, people got fucking crushed by the, when the markets turned, right? So people are struggling in this country, and that is indisputable. And the president, the person that speaks to that, will always win. And that is Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is about income and wealth and quality, getting money out of politics, right? Because if you get money out of politics, you then have a, have a chance to deflate the oligarchy, eliminating uh, the medical and you know industrial complex, the the insurance companies that get in between you and and genuine health, the the bankers that get in between you and a proper education by jacking up and quadru quadrupling the cost of education in this country through uh, interest, right? through you know student loans, eliminate all that stuff, get rid of it. Uh, it's not. It's not a bad thing. It's not free stuff. It's. It's. This is. So those people uh, can also fit under the umbrella of of the Bernie or bust, right? You want to end the insurgency wars? Well, Bernie Sanders is your guy, right? He'll pick a cabinet that understands that sort of thing. Got, you know, someone like Tulsi Gabbard and such. So let's look at some of these. Um, some of these uh, things that are going on here. Some of these things that I'm talking about. Come under my umbrella. Come under my umbrella. Here we go. So Bernie or bust is a warning. Ignore it and Trump wins. Now, uh, who had said that? I, I've been telling you that all along. I've been telling you. This is Newsweek reporting. Uh, Tuesday, October 20th. Is that today? No, the article came out a few days ago, about five days ago. Right? It's fresh. Fresh. Now, this is not, a, a, this is not news. This is opinion. Uh, this is one gentleman's opinion, Victor Tiffany, his opinion. I know. Is, is it based on fact? Yeah, it is based on fact. Bernie Sanders is out raising the Democrats, you know, more than anybody. He has more individual donors than anybody in the country. Uh, Bernie Sanders is powerful. Is is despite what the dirty Democrats, how they paint it in the mainstream media using fake polls and crowded debate stages, that stuff doesn't count. I always I have a heart attack. He's too old. He's going to die. All this shit is bullshit, right? What the, the fact is that under the we're looking for a single umbrella that can fit all of the all of the nuts. See, the umbrella, it's like a it's like a uh, like I said, it's an adjustable wrench. The the umbrella, the, the umbrella that I'm talking about is an adjustable wrench, and it fits every nut. Right? Even the kooks on the left, the far left screaming, motherfucker, I fucking hate Trump. God damn move. You guys Come on. So, so here we go. So Bernie Sanders, Bernie or bust, is a pledge that Senator Bernie Sanders' revolutionary supporters take to send a message to the members of the Democratic Party. It is a commitment to vote for a true progressive on November 3rd, 2020. Ah. <clears throat> or bust. Does not mean stay at home. Ah. It doesn't mean that they're going to not vote. It means they're not going to... Not that they're going to stay at home. What does it mean? It does mean writing in a candidate who has not, and it doesn't mean writing in a candidate who, who didn't register as such. It means voting for a genuinely progressive candidate who is actually running, who reflects a voter's values, and who is not a means to perpetuate the neoliberal uh, machinery that has been in place for more than 40 years. Uh, that's what Bernie Sanders said. People look and say, oh, Bernie Sanders, what a sellout. He's, he's in the Democratic Party. He's one of them. No, that's the illusion from the outside. There is no other. In, in Bernie Sanders' mind, there is no path to the presidency other than taking over one of the major parties, the Democrats or the Republicans, and running in that party and transforming it. That's how Bernie Sanders sees it. And for the most part, he's right, because an independent candidate in this country uh, an independent party 
cannot win the, pre the presidency due to the current state of corruption, that all of the, uh, all of the offices, all the government agencies that control the elections in this country are either Democrat or Republican. And they're closely watched by those two parties to kind of, you know, balance out the cheating. They're, they're, they watch each other, right? But if you have an independent in there, there's just no freaking way that a, an election can swing in the direction of an independent. Bernie Sanders sees that. So his idea to, to infiltrate the Democratic Party, compromise, yeah, yeah, Russia, whatever, fuck you. But the, in, the, in the final analysis, once you get in there, he does what he has done and said for 40 years, which is, you know, reform the Democratic Party, democratic socialism, give power back to the people through social programs, like FDR said, in the New Deal. This time it would be a Green New Deal, moving towards a green economy, you know, solar panels, jobs programs, to stimulate the economy from the bottom up and take away the power from the cocksucker top-down people, the trickle-down people that never trickle down anything, the corporate oligarchy, right? So that is that is the um, that is the Bernie or Bust uh, thing, right? So uh, Bernie or Bust is demand. If you prefer another candidate and vote for that candidate, uh, if you vote for that candidate <laughs> and vote for the candidate in, in the primaries, you will need to acknowledge that you are ensuring another four years of Trump. Wow, sounds like I wrote this article. While all burners are helping bend the arc of history towards justice, Bernie or Bust are the adults in the room. That's correct. Uh, race, gender, or so and so forth are unimportant compared with policy. Yes, we welcome a woman president. Yes, we welcome a gay president. However, identity politics are only uh, are always trumped by policies that will carry out will be carried out by somebody who will do more than pay lip service to the kinds of changes that will benefit the vast majority of Americans. See, that's what I'm talking about. The umbrella that I'm talking about, the umbrella that uh, is, uh, is, uh, is presented by, is opened by Bernie or Bust, is that, in, in fact, is that umbrella that benefits the vast majority of Americans. Bernie or Bust is a battle cry in a war of words. All right? So, pretty powerful stuff, right? Bernie or Bust is a declaration of war against the neoliberals. It's all or none, is what I'm trying to say. So, so uh, Ilhan Omar, uh, Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez, and now Rashida Tlaib uh, have all embraced Bernie Sanders for president of the United States. I don't know if I talked about Jack White. So Jack White, not much of a political guy, but he um, has endorsed Bernie Sanders. His big issue, I think, is um, uh, eliminate the, uh, the what is it, the, uh, the Electoral College, right? Now, that's, okay, yeah. We can, he fits under the umbrella, too. You want to, uh, I believe, one, one person, one vote as well. But that vote has to be valid. That vote, you can't just eliminate the, the um, Electoral College now while the Democrats are cheating, because then you'll never have nothing but a, cor a corrupt Democrat in the presidency uh, ever, you know, that's all you'll ever have, because they're cheating. They rig California, they rig New York, right? And they'll, you know, they, they jack up, where do these extra two million votes come from? All right? That's what happens with the dirty Democrats. So if you want to eliminate the Electoral College, you have to have a verified fair election, Primaries included. When people vote, that vote is counted. One person, one vote. I'm all for that, but not under the current circumstances because it's just like handing it over. You might as well just, you know, give the, uh, you know, give the election to Hillary Clinton and her cronies uh, every time because they'll cheat. Uh, they do cheat. Uh, guaranteed. So Jack White's big issue, that was his big issue. So let's listen to Rashida Tlaib, uh, Omo. Ammo, Ammo Bernie, Uncle Bernie. He is what I like to call him, which Ammo means uncle in Arabic. I think Ammo Bernie, when he saw just not myself, but my other sisters in service being attacked by this president, this bully, for him, there was no hesitation. 
He jumped on board and said, what can I do? So these are the, this is the identity politics crew. It's a big, big crew. Don't underestimate the power of minority women that feel like they're, that, that white men are just shitting on them. Right? They, they, we can fit you under the umbrella. No problem. Come under the umbrella. Come, come to me. Come and, and, and push your head under my bosom. It's fine. Who cares, right? They, they mean well. As a, a, lot of the, a lot of people that feel that way still in this country, they feel like Trump is a bully. We can accommodate you under the Bernie or Bust umbrella. In fact, we're not asking. They're coming. Watch. Do to uplift you all. What can I do to support you all? The fact that he truly believes that women like us, women that this institution hasn't been ready for, that we feel supported. And uh, from day one, he's always made us feel like that. I am endorsing Amal Bernie Sanders because he's not going to sell us out. He understands that it's not just about policies and about words, but it's going to be also about completely transforming the structures in place that is hurting American people. For me, representing the third poorest congressional district in the country, he is in many ways pushing back against this really painful oppression. It's been incredibly inspiring to see his unwavering uh, support for the same ideals that I have about people over profits. He is speaking about that mother that is tired of walking by blighted homes, tired of having to send their child to a school that doesn't have clean drinking water, or fighting just for the right to literacy right now that's happening in Michigan. I mean, there is something incredibly inspiring about someone that we know is not gonna sell us out, that's not going to bow down to these structures that are so built on racism, built on uh, choosing those that are wealthy, that he's consistent uh, in saying that he's with us first. He will always choose us first. My family has never ever really come together on a lot of political issues, honestly, after the passing of my father. But I'm a Bernie seems to be able to unite us. Ah, see, people, people over profit. Ah, oh, what a great message. People over profit. You heard Rashida Talib, the congresswoman from Detroit, from Michigan, right? Say it. People over profit that, that even her family, although they fight and hate each other, right? and she's a Palestinian voting for a Jew. Voting for Bernie Sanders, the Jew, uh, is, is, is it's amazing, right? It's an amazing umbrella. That's what I'm talking about, God damn it. That you bring all of those people together, all the kooky Democrats and all the varieties of kookiness will come together and vote for Bernie Sanders. It's a, such an easy goddamn win. The, you know, the, the heartland of America, the, the, the Rust Belt, of course, Bernie Sanders. He's so pro-union. He's for increase the minimum wage. He's for, you know, stopping, you know, uh, uh, TPP and NAFTA and all these dreadful, um, uh, you know, trade policies that, that exported all our jobs, right? That's Bernie Sanders. He started the whole thing. Trump just, you know, railroad. So, so again, so more room... Uh, uh, Rashida Talib and her her other two friends are now all on board with uh, Bernie or Bust. So just to reiterate about Na uh, Nasty Nancy Pelosi, right? House Democrats are poised to hold a vote to move forward with impeachment inquiry into about Donald Trump. Uh, as I said, it's this is real. The Democrats they've already voted. In their minds, they've already decided that Donald Trump will be impeached over circumstantial evidence. All the things that we're talking about, money and politics. and You think Nancy Pelosi gives a shit about uh, getting money out of politics? Are you fucking kidding me? She's worth $100 million through corrupt contributions to her life. She's not going to give it up. Ch Chuck Schumer, these people are not going to give it up. The only way out is, is to eliminate them, to vote them out, to get somehow, get rid of them. Trump was going to drain the swamp and lock them all up. Yeah, bull fucking shit. Right? It's not going to happen. So on Thursday, the Dirty Democrats will have a vote, and that vote will be to proceed with impeachment proceedings. And in those, in those proceedings... Adam Schiff and, and nasty Nancy Pelosi and the cronies and her like cronies will vote 
to impeach Donald Trump. And that, that vote will move toward to the Senate for a jury trial, the Senate being the jury, and very likely uh, John Roberts of the um, Supreme Court overseeing that jury as the <clears throat> judicial whatever. And then the Senate will vote to not remove Trump from office. And what will you have gotten out of that, Democrats? Absolutely nothing. It's a losing strategy of division, of, of all you've got is hate Trump. And most people in this country don't get it. They don't hate Trump. They don't think Trump's a racist. They don't think Trump's a problem. That's the problem, right? But under, under the umbrella of Bernie or bust or Bernie Sanders, that all of those people, those people too, the people that just want to get rid of Trump get what they want. The people do, not the oligarchs. The oligarchs get fucked with Bernie Sanders. And that is the, the, uh, the uh, overlying uh, uh, theme of Sanders. You've got to get the money out of politics. So Marcus Conti reporting on impeachment, on Bernie or bust. Is it, is it fiction? Is it someone like myself that people will say it in this thread? Say, oh, Conti, you're blind. He has three, three mansions. <laughs> He has his wife. Oh, his wife. His wife took money in the in the in the in the in the school deal. You heard him nine million dollars. She put it in her pocket. Uh, Bernie, he, oh, his honeymoon in Russia. Yeah. Bernie Sanders uh, does not own three homes. Uh, he owns three homes, but he doesn't own three mansions. He owns a home. I feel like I've said this two hundred times. But, oh, Bernie Sanders owns a home in Vermont, where he where he where he lives, right? and he was the mayor, and he made a living. Right? People say, oh, he never had a job. Well, politics is a job. He's the governor. He's a mayor. That's not a job. Why? Only a fucking job. The only thing that qualifies as a job is swinging a hammer or, or swinging a sledgehammer in the fucking street, cracking bricks. What the fuck is wrong with you, you moron? He had a job. So Bernie Sanders, he owns a home in Vermont. He has a residency. It's not a mansion. He has a residency in Washington, D.C., <laughs> where he's been, where he was in Congress and then in Senate for many years, and and now uh, wrote a best-selling book and bought a six hundred thousand dollar home in uh, in the Long Island Sound on the Connecticut side, uh, I believe, on the Connecticut side. So, or on, maybe it's on the Long Island side. I'm not really sure, but he he has a uh, summer home <clears throat> in the Long Island Sound. So fucking what? The guys, the guys been in politics. The guy's been working his ass off for for forty years. Uh, on your behalf, right? It doesn't make you, it's it just because you have some assets, it doesn't mean you lose touch with with uh, the working class, like Bruce Springsteen, for example. It's not, it doesn't make you, uh, suddenly you can't communicate with real people. So, so Marcus Conti reporting, it is Bernie a bust, it always has been. Choose wisely, right? The decision is yours. You can either support, get under that umbrella of Sanders, and everybody gets somewhat of what they need in this country. Or, or follow through with impeachment, follow through with running shit sandwich Joe Biden, waste your time on Elizabeth Warren or Pete Buttigieg or any of these knuckleheads. Keep, keep listening to the fake polls, the fake primaries, the fake debates. Right? Keep in, ingesting all that, and you will get 100%, without a doubt, unequivocally unequivocally Donald Trump